what is up my dudes and welcome back to the channel today i'm going to be bringing you guys the t2 battle rating 97 rank 6 japanese technically trainer jet but uh for the purposes of war thunder it's like an air interceptor fighter type deal it is a 97 with a pulse doppler radar which is very nice but there are a few things that i have to say about this plane and vr bracket before i dive further in uh, I, I just have to admit something um i hate 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 like the 87 to 97 combat bracket because it's so compressed it's it's horrible it frankly is you have planes with missiles with 20g resistance like these aim 9ps that i'm rocking on the wingtips here um going up against subsonics that's ridiculous you have planes that have once again missiles like this fighting planes with no flares or even in an up tier uh, this plane suffers quite tremendously in an up tier because you have uh, radar guided missiles, you have all aspect missiles on the A-10, uh, R-60s, you know, those definitely um, you have to watch out for nowadays. Uh, back when this plane first came out, it was king of the skies, man. You could do just about anything and get away with it. But you want to play the T-2 how you would the Lawn Dart, the F-104. That's basically what this plane was training the Japanese to fly back then so that's how it plays in this game that's how we're gonna use it um, unfortunately it doesn't have flares so we gotta keep our eyes out especially in these up tiers and uh, this BR bracket once again up tier city so before I jump into the games just uh, discord and twitch links in the description below love to have you guys join me on both of those uh, stream on twitch Tuesdays through Thursdays 445 central time you know uh, it's pretty soft, uh, and I do have a squadron if you guys are looking to join one in-game as well. There's the tag, there's all the info, let's just jump right in. Alright, we are here on the city, so it's my radar to pull stop for mode. We are against the Americans, Chinese, and French. Haven't spotted anybody yet, but it's city, so it's coming. No contrails, quite surprised. I did take only 20 minutes of fuel because it, it's city, you know, if it was a larger map I probably would have taken a larger fuel load. Looks like their team went low this game. I don't want to dive prematurely, oh that's a lot of kill messages, holy shit. Cause there is still a lot of slower planes in the back that I still have to worry about. Looks to be 8-0 to... no? I don't think so, because F3H is 9-3, my bad. Ignore me, I'm gonna kill this guy. Try to, anyway. Missile out on him, he doesn't have players either, looking like a good track, he's dead. Please! Where missile go? Never mind! I remembered I'm not allowed to have nice things. Alright, I'm not gonna try and turn, not gonna try and do anything crazy. Let's go after this Harrier. AV-8C, I am worried that it's going to pop flares, there they are, but too little, too late, didn't maneuver either, good kill. I'm a little confused as to how I didn't get that F-3H, it looked like a pretty solid track, unless he crashed into a building or something and I didn't catch it. MiG-21 is chasing the Harrier down, I'm going to go back this way, there's still a lot of red over here. <coughs> A-10As are destroying aluminum can- uranium cans. I thought it said aluminum cans. This isn't gonna end well. My team has gotten creamed. Absolutely creamed. Okay, I'm gonna do something stupid. Head on with me. Okay, well. I got two kills. I traded with the last guy. <clears throat> um, not the start I was hoping for, but I'll take it nonetheless. Alright, we're here on Vietnam in, once again, 10-3. A lot of guys spotted down low. I'm gonna hang around up here for just a little bit longer, let it develop. Nack28 is running for his life. Uh, smart. No one seems to be going for the Harrier, so I will go for the Harrier. He's basically at sea level, but 
He's pretty far from his teammates right now, and he looks like he's chasing that SU-7. Missile out on him, good track. Dead. Dead. Die. Die. No, what? What? Why were those invisible? Oh my god. Uh, F3H, leave me alone. Alright. Let's see here. I'm gonna have to be smart. Blows my mind that those flares didn't pop up, because it looked like a really good track up until that point. Nothing. Don't black out. Don't black out. Just keep going. Just keep swimming. Just keep swimming. What do we do? We swim. It kind of sucks that this is how the T2 has been relegated to playing. I, I can't imagine a harder fall from grace that is the 8-7 to 9-7 BR bracket. Alright, let's come back around. And if you do decide that you're going to want to play Japan, this is probably going to be your life. Because I can't imagine wanting to play the uh, F-104 at 10-3. That just sounds terrible. Oh, hello there, Mr. F-86. A Milan. I might be able to get a missile out on this guy. That would be nice. Nah, he is running. Alright, let's go ahead and turn that off. Dude, our teams are actually doing pretty okay. Still got plenty of fuel. Saber said, fuck that noise. I'm gonna try and get a missile on him because he's like a free kill. Or actually, I'll try and gun the saber and just missile this guy. I'm tired of you. Alright, there you are, Vladislav. I'm pretty sure that's a bot. I don't know, but they're dead. Alright. Oh, well, hello there. How are you alive? I thought I killed you. I'm just gonna... Oh, well, there goes your missile. I'm just gonna have to double kill you, I guess. I don't know how you're alive. But you need to die. <laughs> he begged for mercy. No mercy. Milan's running. Where? Oh my. Hmm. Okay, well, I'm just gonna wait until something happens. Hmm. There's an A6 right there. That's his smoke trail right in the middle of my screen. I don't know if he still has missiles left. I might be able to harass this guy and kill him. Or, you know, if I could fucking aim my bullets, I would. I do like how maneuverable this thing is at high altitude. Not high altitude, high speed. It's pretty, it's like a brick at high altitude. Is that the F-105? That is the F-105. Leave me alone. <clears throat> did he just crash? Oh, he did. Well, that's funny. Alright. Come here, F100. Seven miles, but we have a pretty extreme closure rate. Five minutes of gas. I'm going to have to RTB after this. I'm going to get one pass. No! I missed. I suck. Okay, I got RTB. 
Alright, we're here on Spain without the S, and before I catch radar missiles to the face in this what seems to be a full up tier at this point, yeah, 10 7. Oh boy. I don't want to catch a radar missile, so where's that Mirage at? There he is. Probably don't want to lose track of the enemies that you could potentially be fighting. Uh, don't, yeah, don't do that. Get him, F8. I, I set you up good. I set you up. Yes. Good stuff. Good stuff indeed. Oh, shit. He did. Oh, he did. Oh, he's alive. There's a Harrier down there. I, hmm. I don't really know what to do here. I think I want to go help this guy out. Ooh, this got spotted. Oh, well. That's 10 7 for you. Alright, we're here on Spain, once again, without the S, in 10-3, fighting the Americans, British, and Swedish. Oh, well, hello, Mr. F-4, I don't know who you're firing a missile at, oh, the F-104. Hey! No. Let me just get a little bit closer. I don't think he's paying any attention to me whatsoever. I just need a lock. Alright, there we go. Good lock. Good track. Too late. Yep. That was a big ol' fireball. Hopefully... Oh yeah, I saved the F-104. Nice! At least I feel like I saved the F-104. Alright, well now everyone is like... They're all ants down there. I'm gonna kill this guy because he has no flares. And why would I not go for the guy who doesn't have flares? Okay, I can't see. I can't see, I can't see! Missile out, good track, good track. Maybe, 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 no. Well, I critted him that way. If I can aim. Yay! Who is this guy shooting at? I don't know. Oh, that's an F5. Well, does he have still missiles? If he doesn't have missiles, then I don't have to worry. Okay, yeah, he's turned away. Good. Dead A10. Pilot sniped him, which I think is hilarious. Nothing on the F5C. I'm just gonna keep going, I'm just gonna keep going, just keep going, just keep going, don't turn. Turning is not how you survive in the T2. Alright. <clears throat> now I feel good enough to turn. Where is this guy? Don't black out. Oh, no! I refuse. Get him, T2. Get him, T2. Mommy wine time. Mommy wine time. I agree. Yes. Good bait. Good bait indeed. Alright, there's only one guy left. F100. So plenty of ammo. So plenty of gas. You know, I bitched a lot at the start about how 10-3, 10-0 can be pretty rough. And it can be. But sometimes it isn't. And this is also one of those times. 199 rounds of ammo left. That's really not a lot when you have a minigun. Alright, he's on fire. No! I thought he was on fire. Kill him. No! Okay, well. Right aileron. It's me and this other T2, it looks like. It's F-104, who finally decided to come out of low-Earth orbit. Oh, is he dead? I think he's dead. Hey! Oh, it was a bot. Oh, yeah, fair enough. Well, GG. They're at the GG and the 07. No one is on their team to see that, but that's fine. Alright, hell yeah. Alright, my dudes, that's going to be it for today's video. I hope you guys have enjoyed the T2. Uh, I, I want to say I did, and I, I partially did. And I say that because in even matches, and especially in down tiers, this point is still a lot of fun, but... In up tiers, which is going to be the case about 80% of the time when you're playing any 
eight, seven, nine, seven plane. Like I said at the beginning, it's going to be an up tier. So you really have to learn how to just play support and survive and just, you know, do what you can from the sidelines. And, um, you know, with taking that mentality in mind, you know, we got some kills. We got killed um, a few times as well, but, you know, that's just how it goes. <clears throat> um, yeah, man. You only get three planes here, so I, I, I just, I gotta say, man, like, the T2 is the obvious choice, in my opinion, over the F-104. Um, it, it just is. Um, it's a lower BR, it gets pulsed off the radar, gets half the missiles, but, you know, it's neither here nor there. So, if you do find yourself going down the Japanese tree, and you, you finally come to the T2, you know, don't moan and groan about it, you know, you, you can a little bit, obviously, but, you know, it can be fun, and it's very situational that way, but, um, I hope I did this plane justice today, and I hope to see you guys in the next one. Peace out, y'all.